Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all the support and happy birthday to any of you if this is your sun sign and we are beginning to celebrate you in your season. I send you love and appreciation every day. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings every Friday then again on Monday. So if reading doesn't resonate, you can always come back in a couple of days. Don't ever try to make it make sense. Just go with the flow. Come on back in a little bit and watch a new one. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week, so plenty of variety. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. All right, so we'll start here with the tarot, and then we'll have the angel answers. You've got the king of pentacles, the four of wands. The Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. You've got the Emperor, the Eight of Cups. I haven't seen that in a while. The Sun and the Nine of Cups. That's kind of cool to have the Eight and the Nine. I mean, we have 78 cards here. So there's an evolution, okay? There's wish fulfillment coming in. You've got two major arcana. We've got Aries and Leo here. We've got Fire in general. We have Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We've got all the elements because we have Earth and Air here too. Um, well, I definitely feel like in terms of the King of Pentacles and the Emperor being here, there's something about promotion. I mean, money grows, all right? The the uh, King of Pentacles is the has the Midas touch. So you've got great ideas, but your ideas turn to gold, okay? He's covered in these grape leaves because it signifies abundance, a lavish lifestyle, prosperity all around you. And so with this King of Pentacles, it could be a boss with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor who's going to help you really further your career. The King of Pentacles, though, is, is humble. And so it's an energy where you're going to be able to work well with them. If it's you and you're signifying the boss, if you're getting some kind of a promotion and maybe you're a little bit nervous about it, you're going to do great. I mean, it really is made for you. And so with this, it brings in, um, you know, the kings are the masters of the suit. It's the master of money, but it's also the master of, of laws of attraction. That's what the pentacles are manifesting. So the master of man, you've got a master manifesting here as well. Now, in terms of the physical body, pentacles also rule that. Um, I would have liked to have seen the ace. That would have been nice here. But I will say with this, it's, ge it's generally considered in terms of health and the physical body, a very positive sign. So really feeling good, looking good. Um, so you've got here the four of wands. And since you are feeling and looking so good, that's all high vibrational stuff. I mean, when we start to see this together, you know, you've got wish fulfillment here, true joy in a marriage. Okay. So in terms of relationships, it's glorious. This is attracting exactly what you've asked for. There's a true partnership here for sure. Um, so with the four of wands, you know, they raise their arms in celebration. There's unity here. Everywhere you look and the yellow in the background indicates a very positive environment. That castle, there's not that many castles in the cards. It indicates elevating yourself, okay? So like you think of a castle as being... Um, a, sig a significant for money, wealth, all that kind of stuff, prestige. That's what they're trying to tell you in this earthly plane. So with the four of wands, it's a relationship too that may elevate you spiritually where you really feel connected, supported, loved, and like you're each other's ride or die. You're out there to be in this earth together, to walk shoulder to shoulder. There's no second guessing. There's no turning back. It's just opening your arms to love, walking right through these beautiful arches, they signify a Hindu wedding ceremony. And it's walking out into this energy that's free and it, it's liberation, but there's still a deep connection here. So it's interesting that you have the four of pentacles here. Does not concern me though. It, four, fours are about measurement, order, classification, right? It's like the four legs of a table. And so with the four of pentacles, it may be some intentional 
moves with money for some of you. If you're getting married, if you're in a relationship that you feel is going to turn into something more like moving in together, you may be intentional about saving money and decide, hey, we're going to do some things differently. We'd like to buy a house. You know, if we cut back on some of the, you know, expendables that are completely worthless, we'll have so much more money. So there may be a turning point here where you decide, even though the King of Pentacles shows that luxury and abundance, you do it through your own intent. You're not as willy-nilly with money with this. It also, for some of you, is in terms of the physical body, being more conscientious about what you're eating, drinking. Somebody here, I feel like you're doing some kind of a, they say 10-day detox thing, but it seems like it's more like one of those vitamin things. I don't really know. That's what I get because I'm seeing like pills and I'm guessing it's vitamins. But I'm not telling you to go out and do anything. I'm just saying for somebody, if that's you, it's like this cleansing thing. And again, you're just being more intentional about trying to clear out your body. And that's okay too. I mean, hell, I, I can't we all use that? So anyway, with the Page of Swords, who you know, this is an energy. I think those of you that that house thing keeps coming in. This is an energy of an investigation. He's the internet spy. He He's out to get adventure, though, too. Pages are messengers, okay? They are optimism. They're curiosity. They're innocence. This one is not the greatest communicator, so be careful if you're doing anything. Like I said with the house, make sure you get stuff in writing. Um, he can be a little bit irritable, too. I mean, sometimes he can really just be very blunt with his words, and especially with the emperor, because the emperor can damn well be blunt. You might want to be careful with that. It could also be somebody you're engaging with. Um, so just be aware of that, because I don't want you to get your feelings hurt either. I mean, right, it happens. So now I don't want to give the emperor a bad rap, because this is really solid energy. I just meant that um, you know, we just have to be careful because he, he gets the job done in terms of being an up in upper management. This is a great energy, a business owner, anybody who's in charge, there's complete confidence and security here, but there's also wisdom. So it's somebody who's in charge, but they actually know what they're doing. So if that's you, and it's like I said, you've stepped into a new role or you have a boss here, they're going to be helpful to you. They're going to give you opportunities in your job that are going to lead you to more it is an energy, though, in terms of relationships of great commitment. He holds a staff that represents his empress. It represents Venus. And you also can tell when you have the empress here, it's really obvious, but he looks off to the side because he's always keeping his eyes on his empress because what he does, he does for her. So in a relationship, it's that commitment, but it's also prioritizing the relationship. It's also, in in as far as like the rest of the reading, it's an energy of using logic. So you think things through clearly. You have a clear-headed eye for detail, discernment with this. You make good decisions in this. And of course, you're confident with this. He, he gets his own damn way every single time. So there's nothing to fear here because it's complete stability and order in all areas of your life. And you have it with the Four of Pentacles too. I mean, there's something about this where Pisces life gets very stable very orderly, and it doesn't lose the fun, though. So I don't want you to go, God, that sounds so boring. It's really an energy of, like, it brings everything forward in a stable way, so you're not having all this push-pull kind of dynamic in your life. It's talking about moving things forward. You've got this hero's journey here, the Eight of Cups. We love this one. It's an energy of, you know, seeking something deeper, meaningful connections in your life, the cups are about love. I mean, they're they're all about that good life. It is an energy, too, of fertility. And with the emperor here, he's the father of the tarot. He can represent a father figure in your life, but he also can be about fertility. So for some of you, if you've had a journey with that, that may be what the sun and the nine of cups is. It's like that turning point where it really feels like I, I get why they had that walk, why I had that long journey. Um, but I do feel like with this, there's wisdom in it and eights are vibration. It's a high vibrational card. It's an evolution of your soul. You're in rhythm. You're in unity, okay, as you walk forward and talk about unity. You have it beautifully here with the sun. This is an outstanding energy. We absolutely love the sun in any reading. It's true joy and true happiness, but it's also real freedom, it's a card of great success, too. He, The little androgynous child waves that banner of victory. So you have an energy where you really 
accept yourself. You know who you are. You love yourself. You've got that self-love, taking great care of yourself. So anything you try to do and the sunlight of the spirit moves forward. The waves and the sun represent the vibration, that high vibrational energy. And then the sunflowers in the back indicate an energetic connection. When the sun is out, the sunflowers point towards the sun. But when the sun goes down, they point towards each other. Whoever you're attracting, you're already connected to them. But you're going to find that energetic field is very strong. And it's in general, though, you're going to attract people who are in flow with you. You're going to find that that synergy is here. And it's it's like a brand new regeneration. It's a new energy that becomes available. And it also leads to gains and riches. So it's great for a career too. So the nine of cups comes in and it's wish fulfillment, high vibrational energy. It's attainment. It's realization of your values. It's goals accomplished. He sits back and he's so proud of those cups. Like, look at all my cups. It's also, though, a card of reciprocity. So I do feel like in a relationship, you have somebody who really values your time. They value you. They realize that you have other options. You know, they they value the love. Like I said, with the emperor, there's a protective quality about it. And for some of you, I feel like it's like you, you know, that wish fulfillment is like you really recognize this is what I've been searching for. All the relationships that didn't go the way you thought they were, we're all building up to this. So let's see here what the angels have to say for you, Pisces. Messages for Pisces, please. All right, we've got communicate clearly because the universe always hears you. So part of the problem is we go back and forth like a ping pong match of what we want. You've got get more information. So with that page of swords, he does get information. And those of you too, if there's something with a house or a purchase, you'll do your best to investigate and do the research. The situation will improve. Well, I should say so. There's not a down card in the whole reading. It's really beautiful. Perfect timing. So you're in alignment. The timing's right. The right people are there. You're in the right place at the right time. And they give you a yes. I haven't seen this one in a while. So good things are on the way, Pisces. I love you and I'll be back again soon.